Hey, it's your girl Jasmine Travels, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're actually going on this little adventure. Hey, oh, what's the name of the place that we're going to? Gruta de las Maravillas. I always have L pronounce shit. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to like this pretty much like a cave and water in the cave. It's a grotto. Mm -hmm. We're going to a grotto. So that's our adventure for today. We took a bus up here that was like longish crap. Way too long. It was a long ride. So now we're here. We just grabbed tostadas and I finally decided to start recording because we're about to go there next. That's our next thing to do. How? I don't understand. It's supposed to be like 71 degrees today in Sevilla, but we leave, go a little bit north, and we're in the most windy, we're in the most, the most windy place, and it's like 30 degrees colder. <laughs> That's a big difference. Look at Elle with her peanuts bag. <laughs> oh wait, that's his castle. What's this about? I can't see. Where's the English? English. Okay, this castle is one of the medieval fortresses that were part of the Banda Gallega which were a group of castles whose mission was to defend the territory of Sevilla. It was built by Portugal after the conquest of the Andalusi population. Aracinas Castle has a courtyard and a fortress divided by a wall. The highest point is the Torre Mayor, main tower. There's like English typos, but you know. <laughs> I love the translations, it's all good. It's completely insane. Oh, it's so cold and it's only because of the wind. Like, it's just because of the wind. But we're trekking our way up this giant hill, mini mountain type of thing, just so we can go inside this castle. But it's just like the higher you go, the windier it is. This is what they used to use to hold water inside the castle. It, used to, it holds up to 77 meters of water, how much that is. Fill of all your water came out of that hole. Um, I feel <laughs> sick. <laughs> I can't disagree. I don't think that I love my water coming out of that hole, but yeah. I mean, but they, but they. Better. This was like, this was like the Four Seasons back then. So they, 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 they lined the wall with that the reddish pigment tint right. to help keep the water fresh. And lime, limestone, something, yeah, Maybe limestone. limestone. So the water is fresh, yeah. century and was used until the mid 16th century when it lost its military function. In the 17th and 19th centuries it was again used as a 
the barracks for troops during the conflict with Portugal That's in the War of Restoration. This is actually interesting. This is actually really interesting. <laughs> I mean, but this is weird. They said they used this as a military defense against Portugal, mm -hmm. but Portugal built this. Classic. It's divided into a parade ground and a fortress, separated by a wall where they keep t or where the keep or major tower stands. The fortress is located at the highest part of the mountain. Its plan is irregular and it is smaller than the parade ground, but it is made up of different elements such as the cistern. That make it a small fortress within the castle. Let me get a small fortress in the castle. It has square towers with terraces that can be accessed by stairs or from the wall walk. Oh look, so this is the whole layout. So this is where we were, that's the water, the water hole. Oh, this is like enter entrance and that's next to the water hole we're just down the stairs right. and then we came upstairs this is where we're going right here and so we want to go all around this yeah so we want to go all the way around so i think if we go up the stairs you can like oh that's only one half but we're really over here studying a catapult i'm in portugal was so mad the day that they started using this thing to fight them they were like we built this thing and y'all are on here shooting stuff out of off, off of a catapult at us Uh, la frontera con Portugal tras la conquista no se sabe. With Portugal after the conquest was not settled until the Treaty of Alcanices. Alcanices, 1297, was signed. Aracena became part of the Castilian King. Castilian yeah. Kingdom as a royal land of the Council of Seville. The Banda Gaiga was a group of fortifications that protected the territory of Seville from Portuguese attacks or from the military orders settled in the south of Extremadura, such as the Order of Santiago, which was a castle called Castillo del Cuerno. Order de Santiago. It's hella castles. Cuerno. Too many castles. Aracena. Cuerno. Islamic houses that existed before the castle was built. These houses show an Andalusian population the settlement of Kutrasana, 10th and 13th centuries. <laughs> How dare you. Described in Islamic texts. So this is what they used to look like. So this is like it. And then this was like the layout. You feel me? Layout for real, for real. And it's also bigger than my people, actually. <laughs> this is not. The rooms are so it's small. We're over here talking about like, this is like bigger than our room in Sevilla. No, this is about the size of my room. This is about the size of our room. <laughs> not that it's a little bigger. Hello. A little bigger. A little bit bigger. A little bit. We had a great time. Everyone came in. It's like packed now. <laughs> so we're done in the castle. That was a great little adventure. Now we're just wandering around the city of Aracena. Yeah? Aracena. Aracena? I was Aracena? close. Aracena? 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 Aracena. She's gonna go pay. She's gonna get her candle. Pick a good one. Good, good, nice. Oh, lovely. So L order octopus. Okay. <laughs> what? Play it again. What? <laughs> Pulpo asado con bollo de papas. What he said. <laughs> I wanna catch L eating the pulpo. Thanks. I, I just want these. Go ahead. Eat it, eat it. 
Okay, I'm gonna eat it. With some of the potatoes. Oh my gosh. Mm. You said mmm too fast. I feel like it's fake. Yeah. <laughs> Even before it touched your mouth, she's like mmm. <laughs> Nice. Should have known. <laughs> it's good. Oh my god. Mm. I can't even do this. You can do it. You can do it. Like, literally can't. I can't even cut this part. <laughs> Don't have any fear. Is that good? Is kind of good, it's like good. a five out of ten. It's good. It's just the texture. You want to try? Yeah. It's just the texture, and it's really warm, which is great. <laughs> try it. Okay. 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 Good, yeah. Y'all, I like just did my hair yesterday, and all of this. I don't know what's up with the weather here, but my hair doesn't frizz this much unless I go to like the beach or I'm like sitting somewhere like around a bunch of water. I haven't done anything. I went to the, like, we got on a bus. <laughs> and ever since I got off the bus, my hair just been like frizzing and frizzing and frizzing. We're still in the city of Aracena and pretty much um, our bus doesn't leave until six. And right now it's 3.20 and we pretty much done all of our exploring exploring like this town's not really that big we wanted to go to the grado but they're like packed packed today because it's a holiday oh my gosh no one's here and everyone's coming in to visit for the holiday so we couldn't get to go in there but we did get to go to the castle like we would have preferred to do both of those today but um you know you do what you can do and then we got to go inside one of the churches here as you guys can see and i didn't want to just record us doing nothing because we're really just gonna chill for a while go to a or oh, we're in a park now so we're gonna just hang out for a while because our bus doesn't leave until six so we have three hours of like some free time so probably just stop by a bar grab a drink probably grab a little bit to eat and then we'll leave to go back to Sevilla at six so today wasn't really a crazy day it was pretty chill I just wanted to record like our little adventure outwards because today we're actually in a different region we're in Huelva and we live in Sevilla because the Andalusia the region is opened for us to be able to travel a little bit around just in Andalusia so we want to be able to come out here to like really our main purpose to come here was for the grotto um but like I said we couldn't go in there and then the castle was just like supposed to be like a bonus so maybe we'll come back to go to it I don't know I just want to close out this video I wanted to tell you guys if you want to see more content and see more exciting things that I'm going to do here in Spain or as things open up as i travel more um like comment and subscribe to my channel so it can be more things so i can know that you guys are actually interested because i won't really know unless you guys interact and let me know you have to tell me tell me these things thank you guys for tuning in i hope to see you again in my next video stay tuned you guys bye